Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm making my beautiful sweet honeycomb bread. So I'm going to start by poofing the yeast and I've used 3 4 cup of warm milk, 1 teaspoon of instant yeast and 1 teaspoon of granulated sugar. I also added a quarter teaspoon of salt and 1 room temperature medium sized egg and 3 tablespoons of melted butter and we're just going to break down the egg and mix this well. And once that's done, just cover it and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, I went ahead and sifted the flour. I've used uh, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. That's about 213 grams. So now my yeast is nice and bubbly and I'm ready to make the dough. All right, so I've started with about half a cup, but you can do it however you like it. Now, this bread originates from Yemen, but like any other beautiful recipe, it has traveled all over the Middle East and Africa too. So there are so many recipes for this bread. What I have done is, what I like to do is, I like to use my slider recipe. I just broke it down because that gives me a nice, soft and moist bread. But if you don't want to use this, this recipe, you can pick any recipe that you like. All right, so I keep adding the flour until it's... Uh, done and now I'm just gonna knead this and you don't need to knead this uh, for too long because I you don't want it to be too hard we're not trying to develop any gluten over here so about five five to seven ten eight minutes okay and how I like my dough is to be very nice soft and uh, a little bit sticky because this is what's gonna make my bread very moist and soft too all right so just add a little bit of olive oil over there and let it sit cover it maybe for about half an hour or 45 minutes to make the syrup i've got half a cup of water and i added about one cup of granulated sugar few strands of uh, saffron and cardamom powder these are totally optional but they do add some extra richness flavors and aromas and if you have orange blossom water please go ahead and use it it's really really wonderful i also squeezed in about uh, half a teaspoon of lemon juice to avoid any crystallization so we're just going to bring this to a boil for about five to ten minutes and then after that I added one tablespoon of honey. Okay, just let it boil for another minute or so. You're going to see what I'm looking for is just something very sticky. I want the syrup to be a little bit sticky, not too hard. And this is perfectly all right. And we're just going to let it sit for a while. Now for the cream cheese. I'm using Happy Farms. You can use any brand of cream cheese that you have. It could be Philadelphia, Lavashkiri, Kiri, Almarai, whatever brand of cream cheese that you have. And also make sure that it is cold because it's going to be easy for you to, you know, cut it into cubes or slice it out. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very sticky. So I'm just going to make some medium sized cubes because it depends on the size of the bread that you make and also depends on the pan that you use. If you're using a bigger pan, you may want to make small bread balls. So I'm using a 12 inch baking pan. I'm just gonna apply some butter at the bottom. And my dough is ready. It has double in volume. I kept it out for about 30 minutes. It was really, really hot. So I'm gonna divide this into two portions, which you don't have to. You can just pull and make the balls the way you like it but I like to have equal sizes, all right? So we're just gonna roll this so it's all even. And then I like to divide it into two. And then I cut it into nine equal portions on each side. So I had about 18 from one portion of the bread. I mean, one portion of the dough. All right, so now to make the ball, you just want to stretch that and then fill in your cheese and you're going to pull and pinch and you close the end to make sure that uh, the cheese does not ooze out while baking. I'm just going to shape this nicely and you can put it in your pan. You can start from the center or from the, from the edge, it doesn't matter. 
All right, so once I'm done and um, some of the balls have already started rising because, you know, it was really, really hot. But we're still going to keep it to make sure everything else is uh, even. All right, so it stayed for about uh, 20 minutes. And now I'm just going to egg wash this. I just beat my egg with a little water. You can use butter, you can use oil, you can use milk. All will work. And my oven was 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 180 Celsius. And you're going to bake this for about 15, I mean, sorry, 25 to 30 minutes until you get your desired color. And I had my desired color at 27 minutes. So since the syrup was cool, we're just going to pour it into the hot bread. See how beautiful and golden it looks. And this bread is so amazing when you have it warm. You can have it, serve it with tea in the evening or brunch or a light dessert if you want to. And uh, we're going to pour the rest of the syrup. And some people like to use um, condensed milk. If you like that, please go ahead and use it too. All right, so let's see. See how nice and soft our bread is. Okay, let me show you clearly now. Well, thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Rome of Zanzibar. You'll find all the ingredients in the description box below and on this very last page. Thank you.